Hey guys, so I'm here today filming this makeup for glasses video. I just recently got some new glasses and before I got them, I was kind of playing around on how I can kind of like enhance my makeup while I'm wearing my glasses because I don't want to just wear them when I don't have makeup on like at home. I just put together this little video to kind of share what I kind of came up with, what I kind of heard in the past and just kind of like mesh them together. I also give you guys like a few lip options, you know, like do what you want, do you, you know, and sorry for the glare, but I mean, there's not much I can do about it. So hopefully you guys get something out of this video, and if you want to see how I did my makeup for classes, just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just going to moisturize my lips and my face. I always like to do this first thing just so that everything kind of like seeps in by the time I'm ready to apply everything else. I don't want to put moisturizer and then primer and then, you know, everything on one right after another, so. And I'm trying to kind of look sideways because I don't want to, like, blind, you know, with the lights on. Okay, so as far as the eyes go, that's how I'm going to start first. I always start with my eyes first. So the two main, main things suggest for eyeshadow is to do a brighter lid and define the outer V and leave the rest kind of blank. So that way it elongates your eyes. Guys, when you put glasses on, it they're obviously bigger than your eyes, so it'll make your eyes look smaller than they are, even if you have big eyes. But yeah, so that'll kind of elongate your eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Modern Renaissance palette just because pretty much everybody has this palette. So I would say whatever kind of look you're going for to kind of just, like I said, focus on the outer V and do just a brighter lid. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put some concealer on my lids. This way I have a good base for my shadow. Everything comes out looking even. But I'm going to go ahead and go in with warm taupe. And I'm just going to messily kind of just put it in my crease. I'm just going to take my finger uh, with tempera and just kind of put it on my lid. I place it in the center and then I took an, the other finger that I had no product on and I just, that way I can blend it out. Now I'm going to go in with a Morphe M433 with a little bit of antique bronze and red ochre and just focus it on the outer V. Okay, and as far as eyeliner goes, I highly, highly suggest wearing eyeliner, even if you don't kind of wing it out or anything, like a little tiny bit of eyeliner to just extend your eye, just because it's going to open up your eyes and elongate your eyes. It's all about kind of elongating your eyes, just because the glasses kind of overpower your eyes. I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner in black. I don't know if this is the only one they have, but and then I'm going to be using a little angled eyeliner brush. Okay, as far as lashes go, I would suggest just doing like half lashes or some that are just like really short. But the ones I've come across that are like really short um, aren't as full. So I mean, they don't really do anything like in my opinion. I just put like lashes in here as I use them, like the ones that I've already used. I'm going to use these top ones right here. These two are the wispies, but these are the demi wispies. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off um, about half way and then just use the shorter end. And I'm doing this by mirror right now. Really dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows last. I always do my eyebrows last, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the face. Okay, so for the face, I would suggest going pretty li as light as you can with the product. Not the coverage. You can use something full coverage, but I would suggest 
color correcting, number one, so that you don't have to kind of like add, you know, concealer, foundation, whatever, to the areas that are more red or more dark or if you have discoloration. So I would highly suggest a little palette like this. I use one in my kit too when I have clients. It just makes the foundation go on a lot easier because you're not like kind of caking it on to have more coverage in certain areas. So um, you can kind of look it up like on Pinterest or Google and see what colors are for what. But the ones that I usually use is the green one since I have a lot of redness in my cheek area and like my chin area especially right now since I did do extractions yesterday and then I do use the peach one for like my dark circles so I'm gonna go ahead and just use my finger and just go ahead and put the green in the areas that have a lot of redness and you don't need a lot you like this is a and you want something that's very pigmented so it gives you that color that you need but you're not going to also, again, be like kind of piling it on and caking it on. And then I get really red right around my nostril area. I remember I recently did this for one of my, um, one of my clients that I, I did. She was talking about her bags and her eyes and she's like, whatever I use, I could, you know, whatever. Like you could still see the shadow, you know, it covers it, but not that much, da, da, da. And I'm like, well, you need a color correct. And she had no idea what that was. And when I got to that step, she's like, oh my god, like, she wanted to buy this palette, like, from me, and I'm like, girl, no, <laughs> I've used it on, like, other people, but I told her, it's just, like, an, it's NYX, like, you can buy it at Ulta. She was so excited. Go ahead and apply whatever primer you want. I'm just going to use my Hangover RX one. And I'm going to be going with one of my favorite foundations right now. It's the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I just come in. It's very watery, but the coverage is there. So that's what I love about it is that it gives me the coverage, but it doesn't look cakey. Look how healthy like my skin looks like. Okay, so for concealer, I'm not gonna do the whole like nose contour like concealer thing that I always do just because I just want less product like in this area I put concealer directly under my eyes right around here right here right here I'm blind okay I'm like having a little difficulty Blending creams has never been more important until this video. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and bake my nose. I'm gonna use my Derma Blend powder and this pure sponge. I'm going to just focus on the sides of my nose and like the very top. So like literally where your glasses will kind of drag down and lay. Okay, Jet's awake now, so if you guys hear a little it's talking or video in the background. I kind of use the MAC powder for like the outside of my face just because it doesn't give me like more coverage. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for very minimal coverage but it to set. And I do like to take the Derma One powder with a smaller brush and like not necessarily bake, but just kind of like concentrate it in certain areas that I crease. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. Um, there's no really rhyme or reason to bronze up your face for any like glasses tips or anything. I like to bronze before just because it gives me a good kind of, it's already kind of blended for me. So when I go in and contour, I don't have to do much work. I'm just gonna also lightly contour my nose. I mean, I don't... Mom, can we go to Gala's house? Uh, we'll have to call her. So I'm gonna just take my Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This one's in milk chocolate. And I'm gonna take this Morphe E34. It's just like a little compact brush. You can also use it for blush, I guess. But I like to use it to contour. So I usually put it on one side of the brush and blend it towards the back and then flip it over and further blend. I 
gonna go ahead and use the same brush and use Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild for blush. This is super duper pigmented, so be careful. And then I'm gonna just take this humongous brush and just kind of blend everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and use this prep spray by Urban K, the quick fix one. It's a prep spray, like you're supposed to use it before, but I use it just whenever I feel like I need a little more hydration. So before I go in with highlight, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. Also before highlight, I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke out my lower lash line. And with the same brush, I'm just going to kind of wipe it off and then go in with the Tempra shade on my lid again just to brighten it up all the way into my inner corner and then right underneath. And a little mascara. You can also put like a um, nude liner in your waterline or something like that. That'll also open up your eyes. But I really, I don't have one right now that really stays in my waterline. So I'm on the hunt for that. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so brows are done. So I'm going to go ahead with a little bit of Tempra and Vermeer for the very, very arch of my eyebrow. That way it's a little more pronounced underneath the glasses okay so i totally forgot to highlight which i feel like it's very important to highlight when you're wearing glasses just because the glasses kind of stop right here so it'll kind of bring your cheekbone out a little bit more i'm gonna go ahead and use rodeo drive by ofra i got this in my boxy charm boxy charm plays the like they freaking to me and my friend tiffany were talking about this morning it's like they take out the money on the first, but you don't get it till like the 20th. Like, what's up with that boxy charm? Like the month's almost over before we get our month's box. And just for the hell of it, I'm gonna go in with a red lip. I don't have any more red lipstick. I, I mean, I have Ruby Woo, but man, I haven't used this in forever. And like, I don't know, is it just me or what? Like, I think like regular lipsticks are just so much more work. So I'm going to go in with this Stila lipstick, this one's in Beso, and this one's like a matte red lip. Or you can just put on some chapstick, some gloss. I just use this gloss that I also got in my boxy charm. This is Plato's Cave by Allegory Story. And I really like it. It's very pigmented. I have no like lipstick or anything. And then it's not like sticky either. It's just like a nice little sheen. Or you can just do a good old nude. This is a Cool Girl by Too Faced. Okay, so all my kids are awake, so I gotta go. So yeah, go ahead and just comment, like, subscribe, whatever, share my stuff, you know, that'd be cool too.